This episode is brought to you by lynda.com. Steam OS, we've been waiting for Steam boxes since CES last year. Everything you love about Steam, available soon as a free operating system designed for the TV in the living room. Guess what, people? We got the beta running. Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Patrick Norton, and Valve released the beta of the Steam operating system this weekend. It's going to be the core of Valve Steam boxes, dedicated Steam gaming machines coming out this year. We hope to see some at CES. Now, to geek out, just a tad, SteamOS is a distro, a fork of Debian 7, aka Debian GNU Linux, the open source operating system of choice, as long as you don't use one of the other 18 distros that are the operating system of choice of different people out there in Unix land. And if that sentence makes sense to you, or if you're just super curious, you're a perfect candidate to beta test the SteamOS. Michael and I got it running on a Core i5 box with 8 gigs of RAM and a GTX 760. You're going to need a 64-bit Intel or AMD CPU, 4 gigs of RAM, minimum. 500 gigabytes of hard drive space, an NVIDIA GPU, UFI boot support, not BIOS, and a USB port for install. Now, the default install, creating a SteamOS System Restore USB stick and using CloneZilla to copy it over to the hard drive, didn't leave any physical scars, but it was probably the least smooth install Michael or I have run in years. Chances are it'll be easier for you. Your mileage, as they say, will vary. Just follow the instructions at store.steampower.com slash steamOS slash build your own. Warning, SteamOS will erase everything on the disk you install it on, so don't install it over your schoolwork or your work work or your incredible collection of games that you don't want to re-download again. The interface on the SteamOS, it's smooth. The gaming was solid and frankly, it's Steam in big picture mode. There's just fewer games than you'd have on Windows. You can browse all the games in the Steam store. Right now though, you can only play Linux games, so you can't play everything in your library if they're only Windows or OS 10 compatible. Now, there are some really good games on Linux, Fez, Monica, Amnesia, Machine for Pigs, that one's scary. But Team Fortress 2 occupied most of our gaming time. 1080p's full screen looked good. We sucked, but everything felt smooth. The controls were on. We liked it. Felt just like, well, you know, big picture on Windows. Now, in-home streaming, not activated yet. That's a big deal for the Steam OS. That's where you can play Windows or Mac games from your regular computer running Steam, but the beta is supposed to start soon. Media playing and streaming wasn't there yet, and I gotta be honest, you're gonna have to be a little hardcore about Linux, get AMD or Intel 3D graphics running. Only NVIDIA support is currently baked into the Steam OS. Now, are you running Steam on Windows or OS 10? Unless you're a Linux geek or aspire to be one, we would think twice before taking this project on. It's big picture mode, people. Me, I'd spend the time learning something useful on lynda.com slash tagzilla, like learning how to design game environments in Unity 3D or create web apps using Ruby on Rails. Yeah, they're a sponsor, but who doesn't need to build up their skills to stay competitive in the workplace so, you know, you can buy more Steam games. Now, if you really are ready to build your Steam OS box, head to repo.steambower.com slash download and get started. Got thoughts on the Steam OS? Comment down below and please subscribe to Techzilla Bytes at youtube.com slash techzilla or techzilla.com. I'm going to go get back, get some more Team Fortress 2 on.